So you've agreed to embark on the adventure of leading a Cub Scout den. Being a den leader is extremely satisfying. You will work with young men to teach them the values of scouting. While it's not an easy job, it's certainly rewarding. If you're new to scouting, or if you've done this before, here are some things that you need to know that will help you become a better leader. Before your first meeting, make sure you go to the BSA website at myscouting.org. Create an account and take youth protection training. It is vitally important that leaders understand and adhere to BSA's youth protection policies. The easy to follow online training course will help make sure you are creating the most secure environment possible for our youth members. While you're there, also take a look at the other online training options. You'll learn best practices for leading your Cub Scout den. You'll also find specific training for the age and rank of the boys that will be in your Cub Scout den. Contact your district scout executive about other group training opportunities. Every scout deserves a trained leader. Once you're done with your training, make your way to the scout store and pick up your official scout leader's uniform. This uniform helps you connect with your den and conveys a sense of authority and purpose that scouting represents. The uniform is an important aspect of scouting and you should lead by example. I find it very helpful when planning my meetings to do so at least a couple days in advance. Create a weekly meeting plan and gather all of the required supplies. That helps your meetings go much more smoothly, which in turn allows the boys to get more out of the den meetings. Don't hesitate to use other parents, your den chief, or any other resources. Remember, you're not in this alone. You'll each develop your own style for having your den meetings. I find it reasonably structured schedule is important. Start with a game or activity as the Cub Scouts are arriving that they can do either individually or in small groups. It can be purely for fun, like a simple coin toss game, or it could be tied in with whatever activity you're planning for the day, a word search, drawing, or any other activity. Once all the boys have arrived, it's time to settle them down. Start with the Pledge of Allegiance, the Cub Scout Promise, and the Law of the Pack. This tells the boys that the meeting is now starting, and it also helps reinforce scouting values. For my meetings, I typically like to break them down into three separate sessions. The first section is the classroom session. That's where we're teaching the boys the particular important items that we're going to try to convey during that meeting. The second session is what I call the hands-on session. This is where we do a craft or other activity. It gives the boys a chance to get up and move around and burn off some of that energy. The third session is our fun session. The fun session it can be anything from playing a game, practicing a skit for the upcoming pack meeting, or learning a song or din cheer. Each session will change in length depending on what you have on your agenda, but I find it's a good rule of thumb and it helps the boys know what to expect when they come to one of the den meetings. Don't forget, some den meetings should be outside of your regular meeting location. Go on go see it or other field trips and allow your scouts to learn about the community and it also can help reinforce the particular activities that you're doing in the den meetings. Remember, a big part of scouting is the satisfaction of advancement by earning badges and other awards. As a den leader, it's important that you familiarize yourself with the requirements for each of the achievements. Plan your meetings around accomplishing some of the activities required to earn a badge or other award. Also, create an at-home work plan that allows the boys to accomplish some things on their own time. Earning badges and awards not only helps guide their learning experience, but also gives your scouts a simple sense of accomplishment and progression that is so important to scouting. If you're stuck on what to do, there are a wealth of resources available. In addition to the BSA website at scouting.org and our own council website at sac-bsa.org, there are tons of available resources on the internet. They have great ideas, fun activities, and terrific meeting plans that will help you keep your scouts engaged and enthused. Most of all, though, remember to have fun. Cub Scouts are just elementary school boys. They're full of energy and enthusiasm, but sometimes short on attention span. Keep them engaged and excited, and you'll have a Scout for a lifetime.
Agreeing to become a DEN leader is an important responsibility. Your actions will have a lifelong impact on the boys in your DEN. Take that responsibility seriously. Do your homework, plan your meetings, and engage your Cub Scouts. You'll truly make a difference in their lives. Thanks for volunteering and good luck with your scouting experience.